Radio just woke up to a god awful scream. There's no hot water. I guess I should probably do something to deal with that. Let's give it a crack. Right, it's about nine o'clock in the morning, so we're pushing 2,700 watts from my grid tie solar system. We go down to my energy eddy hot water diverter. It's put about 1.8 into the hot water system at the moment and clearly that is not enough hot water for my other half in the morning. So if we go to the little cross, we go to savings, have a look at the savings first. We've done 825 kilowatt hours. So get out of that again. And then if we go to settings, click down, click down boost timer, and we're heater one. And you can actually set it up, click that. So start time. 7.30 in the morning. Now we go to 9, 8, 7, 6, maybe 5.30 in the morning. Duration. Well, we've just one hour, I guess. One hour. Click. Oh, you can actually do, so you can actually do the days of the week. So you can Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So you can actually turn it on and off. You can just have it boosting on the weekends if you wanted. So that's pretty neat. Um, okay, 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 okay. Back out of that. So that'll turn it on tank one. Now, after watching Mike Nacko's video, Lithium Solar, um, I'm thinking that tank two, I might actually buy a second tank and then actually put a second tank in before it so I can preheat the water. So I stop even more energy going back to the grid because I'm still selling 500 kilowatt hours to the grid. So in settings, now in settings, you can also set up, and this is where I look very unprofessional, advanced passcode is four zeros, uh, link devices, uh, supply grid, export limit four kilowatt, export margin. You can actually change that Oh, no, no, supply limit is the one I want. You can actually change that to, um, say, one kilowatt. So it, it'll just do, when you go back here, get out of that, get out of that, get out of that, get out of that. And if I want to do boost, so it's on 1.9 now. If I boost it for an hour, it just gives it an extra 1,000 watts. But then when you, uh, we can stop that, cancel that boost. When you go back into here, go to settings again, go down to advanced, go down to grid supply, one kilowatt, and you can change it up to say uh, four kilowatts. Get out of that again, get out of that, out of that, boost it. And then it'll go up to 3.7. So you can actually control how much goes in from the grid, which is kind of neat, or well, from the setting itself. So we'll keep it at four just to keep that hot. And we'll get out of that because we don't want to boost it. Done. Okay, well, there we go. That's a short video on how you actually, how I boost this. So we get some extra hot water in the morning. We could do it in the afternoon as well, but I don't think we need it. If we just boost it for an hour in the morning, it'll put four kilowatts in, which is uh, give or take a dollar extra a day for hot water. But that is a small price to pay. And it's fairly convenient with this device uh, to keep the wife happy. So there we are, tubers. If you wonder what I think of this Eddie device so far, it has been absolutely and completely flawless. Um, it's convenient, it's quick, it's easy. Even my wife can come out here and go, I need hot water. She could just click that once and then click that twice and it boosts the hot water. It also has a little switch down here where I can actually put it in bypass mode. Um, so on really, really cloudy days, and I have done this a few times, when you have a week or more of, um, of cloudy weather, I just put that into bypass mode so we've always got hot water. Chews up a lot of extra electricity. I think my power bill went up to eight to $10 a day um but certainly worth it to keep the old girl happy so tubers thank you very much for tuning in and i'll see you on the next one